Ni hao, mei lideren, hoing lai dao. I am Leslie Jones. Today is a special treat for you, especially those that are building from the ground up and you want to see someone's design process. Well, today I'll be sharing with you my design process. So like, subscribe, hit that notification button so you'll see when I post videos. And last but not least, let those ads keep on rolling on through because that's how I get paid. So my auntie asked me to be her design concept architect. Under pressure. The pressure. And I went to school. My first degree was in drafting design technology. And it was never a part of my plans to design for others. But there is no way I was going to tell her no. She's family and she has helped me in the greatest times of need. So I said yes. But then the truth came to the surface. Hey everyone, this is my auntie Angela. Hi. So why do you want to convert your garage? Well, first of all, I'm gonna convert my garage uh, to generate disposable income. Cheddar That's cheddar. one. Cheddar. Uh, the next thing is that uh, in 2028, the Olympics is coming to Los Angeles. Ooh. So that, that'll be a, a, a very hefty nest egg for me. So they and I know they will pay some money just to have somewhere to sleep so they can go to the Olympics. Yes, <gasps> so I, I'm excited and I can't wait. Yes, any other reason? And the last thing is so you can get it. So you can get it. <laughs> get out of my house. Get out. <laughs> Long story short, folks. I moved to China in August of 2019 to teach English and to model. Little did I know that five months later, coronavirus! I was quarantined in China and I was like, I need to get out because I'm gonna get locked out of my country. So thank goodness a flight was created for me, but I came home too early so I couldn't get into my place. I was homeless. Thank goodness my mom was like, you can go ahead and just stay with me until six months is up and you can move back into your place. Glory. Six months was up. By that time, there's laws, so my replacement doesn't have to move out. I'm homeless again. Thank goodness my auntie came through for me and said, I'll charge you little rent. It's only for temporary, so don't, don't worry about anything. Just go ahead and come over. Great. It's been almost two years. My time is running out. So um, I'm probably, probably designing where I'm going to live. And that's the story. All right, auntie, tell me what you want in here. Okay, first of all, this side of the garage, this should be a little kitchenette. A little kitchenette, cabinets, uh, countertop. Next, it would be a wall for, you know, for your um, pictures or um, your TV. Mm. That's, that's the next one. And in the back of you, this wall, it should be a Murphy bed. Mm. You know, it'll be convenient so they can, you know, pull pull the bed down. Mm -hmm. And the door, the main entrance door? Um, the main entrance door, it's either, it's gonna be my, either my garage, I'm gonna mm -hmm. convert the garage into a, you know, into a door, mm -hmm. or the door should be on the side here for easy and access. Then, how many windows or do you want any windows? One. One. <laughs> what would that what would that be? This little area would be a shower area. So we have all the you know the hot and cold until we get here. Okay here now this is this is the part where I want a loft. Mm. So stairs will will be you know here if you move all this junk out of the way stairs will be here and you walk yourself up to the the wall because I have what high the, ceilings how is it taking over the whole roof like a loft or you know the loft will start like halfway or in the middle of no the, the loft was it'll start the halfway that's right? pretty much it okay oh I got an idea Woo! <laughs> 
plus a spider web. Don't worry if you don't have a drafting board, you just need a pencil, ruler, and eraser and get your ideas on paper. While in college, our instructor was adamant of us learning how to draw it by hand. And folks, this is the most affordable way to get your idea on paper and talk to your architect. Right now, I am detailing the bathroom. And here is the door. And look at these stairs. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> and this is my favorite part, the kitchenette. Maybe because I love eating. There's the sink. the refrigerator, and stove. And we can't forget the cute little dining table. This is tiny living, so I thought of an L-shaped couch to maximize the space. You can also get a two for one, a bed and a sofa, or a Murphy bed like my auntie mentioned earlier. Alrighty folks, this is the first floor. In Ghana, this is considered the ground floor. And I think you guys get the point, so I'm gonna super speed the second level. Here's the loft on the second floor. In Ghana, this will be considered the first floor. So take your idea to your architect and you guys will go over it, talk about it, make changes if you need to. But yeah, folks, get your ideas on paper, bring your vision to reality. Yes. Beautiful people. This is Rivet. This is the software program. You can get a free trial for 30 days. Um, there is a learning curve, guys. There is a learning curve, but this is not a tutorial. Let me start off with saying that. I'm just bringing a camera along so you guys can see what it looks like. There's awesome tutorials out there. I think one is Smart Architect. The other one is Vulcan Architect. He's a rivet master. Uh, so if you want to get real like professional guidance, he, they are there for that. But I'm going to show you... Um, the beginning of how I use it and build the building. Time lapse starts now. So folks, this is Basically what I drew with my hand, I put it in the computer and this is the results of that. So as you can see, when you first walk into the door, um, TV, self-explanatory, all that good stuff, the bathroom. So when I was in Ghana, this is what I built my design and then I gave the architectural firm my floor plan. So they already had an idea of what I wanted. Even they improved upon my idea. So. I was happy about that. So shoot, if you can take my idea and make it better, I am not complaining. So this is level one or what in Ghana will consider ground floor. Let's go to level two. Basically the loft, make it look realistic. They just took that and made it into, I think 3D is the same, yeah. 3D is the same here. Um, but yeah, I gave the art 
architectural firm in Ghana, my four plans, and they made it into a glorious, glorious display, which eventually I plan on sharing, just not right now. You can see this line here. This divides the building, so you can see it in sections. So I'm gonna show you section one. See, it cuts the building in half. So if you were to walk through starting here, Oh, look at that, guys. You see, that's me on the TV. How I bought my beachfront property. If you haven't watched that video, do so. Um, yeah, you walk in, boom, TV, kitchenette, and then there's the bathroom. And then section two, you walk in, pictures of my family, all couch, table, you walk in the bathroom, and then you go up the stairs, oh. These are, they are not ancestors. This is my grandma, my Grammy and my grandmama. You go up and then boom, you're loft. So yes, folks, this is what I did for my auntie. That's Rivet. I use Rivet to um, bring my vision to reality. You can too. So if you wanna practice, there's a 30 day trial. If not, I strongly encourage you just to get your ideas on paper, give it to your architectural firm and they can do everything from there. Uh, yeah, let's get my auntie her booklet. Yeah, already beautiful people. Here is her booklet. She works from home. She's a hard worker. Auntie, here you go. Oh my gosh, Angela Adams garage conversion. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All righty, page number one. watching my video i hope you get inspired to go out there and create bring your vision to reality and guess what folks my next video i will be in ghana starting the raw process there's so much i have to do so much it's gonna be great it's gonna be content while i'm on the motherland so get ready get ready get ready Vision-reality.com is a system I developed to streamline the land purchasing process in Ghana. It took me over one year to find credible people to do business with in Ghana. This networking group are vetted professionals in the property development sector. I went through the good, the bad, and the ugly so others won't have to. I'm not only just referring people to this group, but I've purchased and completed the indenture process. So if someone goes to my website and they like the land they see and they end up purchasing it, I'm literally their neighbor. If you are do-it-yourself type, I will refer you to my networking group, provide a land purchasing checklist and price list, and you can start your journey. If you'd rather have an assistant, that will be me. Basically, do for you as I did for myself. I am a firm believer in leading from the front. I will only introduce you to people I have worked with for my land. The tab in the upper right corner will lead you to the land option. As I establish relationships with more chiefs and developers, the land options will increase. This will all start with a complimentary discovery call. I will share my experience with you, the land purchasing culture in Ghana, and confirm me being your land liaison is a good fit for you. The goal is to get the diasporas to repatriate or invest. If there's no methodical system, they're not coming back in the numbers that are needed. And what I mean by needed, there are non-African groups buying up land like hotcakes. There has been an incorrect narrative of the African continent, especially in the States, as poverty, sickness, and disease stricken, yet people are buying land, establishing businesses, and seeing drastic profits within five years. If the continent is such a disease-stricken place. Why are non-African foreigners relocating their whole lives and starting to build wealth for their families and their countries in Africa? Yet, the people of the land are scared or hesitant to invest. Vision to Reality Inc. is 
here to correct the narrative through streamlining the land purchasing process.